Water Clips, a video series on revenue resiliency topics for water utilities, their boards, and stakeholders. Credit Rating Agency Considerations Water utilities considering or in the process of issuing debt often request a credit rating from one or more rating agencies. Approximately 1,300 water and wastewater utilities are rated by Standard & Poor's. About 800 are rated by Moody's Research and Ratings, and Fitch Ratings rates about 400 water and wastewater utilities. Credit ratings play an important role in determining a water utility's access to and cost of borrowing money. Credit ratings are used by potential investors and lenders as an indication of the utility's ability and willingness to repay its debt on time and in full. Although each rating agency has a slightly different rating scale, in general they are similar to ones used in grade schools. A's are good, more A's are better. The better the rating, the lower the interest rate, and a lower interest rate can lead to substantial cost savings on bond repayments. But how do utilities earn A's? It turns out that there is no preset formula for solid financial footing and a good rating. Each of the major credit rating agencies focuses on slightly different quantitative and qualitative indicators to evaluate a utility's credit strength. Quantitatively, credit rating agencies measure the financial position of an individual water utility against many financial ratios, such as debt to equity, days of cash on hand, and long-term debt per customer. Each of the credit rating agencies may give slightly different weight to each of these considerations, and so there can be some variation in the ratings. And while financial ratios are relatively straightforward, quantitative metrics and ratios cannot completely portray the financial future of a utility. Qualitative considerations such as economic conditions, management, and structural measures are often given equal if not more weight when rating a utility's credit. Some of the prominent qualitative rating concerns fall under the influence of the utility, such as its rate increase history and resource capacity, but other measures are outside the control of utility officials. These include measures like service area, customer wealth, housing values, employment patterns, and population growth. Although a utility may not have direct control of these factors, it can influence its credit rating by demonstrating preparation and responsiveness to those factors outside of its control. The three characteristics that summarize what credit rating agencies value are flexibility, capacity, and predictability. After reviewing many credit ratings of water utilities, these characteristics were common to well-rated utilities. They were common to financially resilient utilities. The first characteristic of a financially resilient utility in the eyes of credit rating agencies is flexibility. Credit rating agencies are looking for evidence of a utility's flexibility and adaptability in its pricing strategies, governance policies, and responses to external forces. Can and will a utility raise rates when it needs to? Can it absorb temporary financial shocks? And what limitations are being put on the utility by external regulators, and how is the utility dealing with it? Financial flexibility is financial resiliency. The second credit rating characteristic of a financially resilient utility is capacity. Credit rating agencies are looking for evidence of a utility's capacity to increase rates and meet demand. Credit rating agencies assess how high a utility's rates are by comparing its rates to those in surrounding areas and with similar characteristics. It also compares its rates to customer demographics. Low rates, when considered in the context of service area income levels, indicate a capacity to increase rates. If a utility is deemed to have high rates, affordability pressures may arise that could significantly decrease a utility's capacity to increase rates to the levels that they need. Credit rating agencies also view utilities' capital and resource plans to evaluate their capacity to meet demand, because ultimately demand equals revenue. In general, if a utility does not have the capacity to meet demand, it means lost revenue. Practices like increasing storage capacity when conditions are wet in order to sell water during dry times earns positive marks from credit rating agencies. In addition to flexibility and capacity, credit rating agencies take into account decision-making and financial agreements between a utility and its governing body. Above all else, credit rating agencies value predictability in these arrangements. How a utility reacts to, or better yet, anticipates, its operating environment largely factors into its rating. Furthermore, credit rating agencies look positively on fixed revenue over variable revenue. In times of drought, 
Revenue that is dependent on discretionary water use can compromise a utility's financial health, which may also compromise its ability to repay its debt. So utilities that have more predictable revenue are likely to be deemed more resilient. The credit rating agency definition of a financially resilient utility is no mystery black box. Each of one periodically publishes their rating criteria for all to see. As of the production date of this video, the most recent criteria from Fitch Ratings was published in its U.S. Water and Sewer Revenue Bond Criteria in July of 2013. The most recent criteria from Standard & Poor's was published in 2008. And Moody's research and rating is still working off of a 1999 analytical framework, although they are in the process of updating their criteria report. Because credit rating agencies are probably the most influential financial evaluator of the industry, the metrics they use typically set the bar against which utilities develop their own financial policies. People often say what gets measured gets done. For some in the industry, these criteria and achieving the best possible rating drive financial decision making. And even for those not in the debt market, much can be learned about financial resiliency from the credit rating process and the criteria they use to grade utilities. This video was created by the Environmental Finance Center at the University of North Carolina with funding from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the Water Research Foundation.